All right. The uh, next uh, graph we're going to do with transformations is the cubic function. And because the cubic function grows so large, um, we're only going to use five numbers, uh, or five, yeah, five, five inputs. We use negative two, negative one, um, zero, one, and two. If I use three or negative three, when I cube those, I get negative 27 and, and 27. And that's just uh, too large um, to, to graph on, on the graph we have here. So we're going to use those, and we're going to cube them. And when I cube something that's negative, it's going to stay negative because I have three negatives. Negative times negative times negative is still negative. So we'll go ahead and cube those numbers, and then we will plot them and go ahead and graph. Notice that this is a um, even function. So if you turn your head upside down as you're looking at it, this will look look the same. Or if or if you're you know looking on this with your phone or or something like that, you can you can tilt it upside down and it'll still look the same before before the screen auto corrects. Um, I'm gonna do uh, two vertical uh, stuff here. We're gonna do a vertical stretch and we'll do a vertical shrink. I think we're going to do the shrink first, though. Um, since it grows so dramatically, um, I'm going to use a fourth as as my shrinking factor. So what it's going to do is it's going to take a fourth of all the outputs. And taking a fourth is the same thing as dividing by four. So we'll use the same points, okay? And then we're going to divide each one of our outputs by four. And we'll go ahead and plot them. I'm also going to put 3 in because um, when I cube 3, I get 27. But when I divide it by 4, I get 675. And that's something that's reasonable to graph. Um, and then I'll also have the negative 6.75. So you can see that um, this thing got... Oh, why isn't this working? Okay, there we go. You see that we are, we have squished the uh, black graph down into the red, so that's a vertical shrink or vertical compression, is sometimes called. The next one we're going to look at is uh, a vertical, a vertical stretch. Okay, and we'll just do by uh, multiply by two x cubed. So what that's going to do is that's going to double all my outputs. Okay, I'm not going to be able to fit the the 16's on my graph. It's just not going to fit. Uh, but you can see after we graph them that we did we did stretch it out a little bit uh, by a factor. We've doubled everything so uh, it's a little bit harder to see. Um, you can blame the artist on that but and it, it does uh, get stretched and, and grows faster. And you can do the stretches and compressions with any of the parent functions. Um, once you get your your basic table, all you have to do is if you want to stretch it or compress it, is you're just going to multiply it. Um, and what I said before is if whatever the, the number in front, that's your A, if it's between 0 and, and, and 1, and I just talked about the absolute value because if it's a negative, it just reflects it over the x-axis. So if it's between 0 and 1, then that's going to be a, a shrink. So this one would be a shrink. And if it's larger than 1, like 2, it's going to be a stretch. And that's going to be the same thing with any, with any of the parent functions. It's just you need to know how to graph the parent function. And then you can do the stretches and shrinks. And you can do stretches and shrinks and move it around and reflect it. So you can do all kinds of things with it. And it all stems down to being able to graph the, the parent function and then understanding the transformations. And then you have all you have infinite possibilities of how many different graphs you want to make.